Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with another weekly love reading. In this video today we are going to see what is surrounding you and your person in love and or romance for the upcoming days and week. Please like, share, subscribe Pisces if this reading is resonating for you. Feel free to take advantage of the new special feature button which is the super thanks button. That is also another opportunity for you to show support here on the channel if you so wish to. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Piscean placements out there. And Pisces, feel free to reverse the roles, okay? It is a general reading. Uh, if you want to know more on how to work with me and connect with me, all the info, all the details will be in the drop downs box below, okay, Pisces? Okay. So in the pre-shuffle, once I split the deck, the card that came out on top, um, as you can see here, is the Two of Pentacles. This is where we're going to kind of kickstart your reading. So the Two of Pentacles can speak to someone who wants to come in and prioritize the relationship, prioritize the connection. Okay, this is someone who is happy to kind of just like slot you into their calendar they're making room they're making space for you in their life no matter how busy they might appear to be or how busy that they are because the two of pentacles is telling me that this person may have a lot going on in their life okay they might be managing or juggling a lot right now but they're happy to uh, fit you into their plans Okay, now if you're dealing with someone that wasn't treating you like a priority, Pisces, you can be sure to um, be treated like a priority this week. Okay, this person is coming in, you know, redirecting their focus onto the connection, making sure that they are also prioritizing the connection, the relationship into their into their life. Now, underneath that, we've got the Six of Pentacles. So this is really beautiful because what this is telling me is that the, the feelings are mutual. Pisces, you may have been prioritizing this person or putting this person first in many areas of your life. But guess what? Now they're returning the favor. Now they're returning the favor. That's how I'm reading it. Okay, the feelings are mutual. Um... It's a two-way street here. There's the Ten of Swords. I, I felt called to take the Ten of Swords here in your reading. Um, now, I really love these Ten of Swords because these Ten Swords are not pierced in the back of the person that is laying on the ground. So it's telling me here that the end of a chapter or the end of this painful cycle is over. Okay, and it's going to start to feel a lot better or a lot lighter for you and for the connection there's the hierophant also this is major arcana for taurus but you're going to feel that this person is um yeah heavily prioritizing you in their life they're more dedicated to the relationship they're more committed they're showing up more committed um and they really want to prove something to you that they can they can do this okay because I'm seeing with the Hierophant a higher level of commitment okay coming in from this person there's a higher level of commitment so you're gonna you're gonna see it you're gonna feel it uh, because this person is prioritizing you in their life so I'm just going to shuffle over to the the archetype deck we're just going to grab an archetype card and then we're going to jump back over to the tarot. Okay, Pisces. And I'm doing things a little bit backward, but anyway, that's what I felt called to do. Oh my God, the kiss. Oh, I love this. This is so dreamy. It's so romantic. Look at this. I feel like this is a card of kissing and making up for some of you. Okay, someone wants to kiss and make up. They want to make up for lost time. Um, they want to make it up to you. For others of you, um, this is this kiss is it's romantic. It feels romantic. You're going to get more romance coming in from this person. I feel that this person is starting to grow stronger romantic feelings for you, or maybe the romantic connection 
is being restored. Okay, if you've known each other for a really long time and you kind of lost that with each other, I feel like the kiss is this romantic connect connection is being restored at this time. Mm, and look at this. This is a crescent moon. So I'm associating that with new beginnings. Oh my gosh, don't we have a new moon in Pisces? Like as I literally do this reading, we are about to... I think in less than 24 hours, we are approaching a new moon in Pisces. So I feel like this is a very significant and poignant time for you in your love life. Maybe for some of you Pisces, you are setting a brand new intention. Okay, you're, you're putting a brand new intention out there into the universe around the time of the new moon in Pisces, which I feel is extra potent for you, Pisces. Um, now we do see a pair of two pairs of hands here they're holding hands so I do see a beautiful union a bond or a coming together okay I really do it feels like you're really making up for lost time or someone is really wanting to make it up to you here Pisces so let's dive on in and see what else is coming through what is it that Pisces needs to know when it comes to this connection this week okay all right all right we'll see okay so we've got the hanging man the hanging man the hanging man um we've got the hermit in reverse so you could be connecting to a virgo and we've got the eight of wands in reverse and we've got the high priestess in reverse which is major arcana for pisces but i also see this as cancerian energy Okay, Cancerian energy. Okay, so it feels like it feels like things have slowed down here with the Eight of Wands. It can feel like maybe the connection, uh, the romance or the relationship has really slowed down here with the Eight of Wands. It feels like there's no forward momentum or it feels like there hasn't, like the relationship hasn't been moving forward. It's kind of... It kind of feels like it's been stagnating here. The reason being with the Hermit card here is because someone has needed to sort of take some time out and do a little bit of soul searching here. Okay, so I feel even with the Hanging Man and the Eight of Wands in reverse, I feel like maybe the relationship or the situation you're finding yourself in has been on pause for quite some time because a Hermit card is telling me that someone needed to really figure things out. And maybe what's made it more difficult here with the High Priestess in reverse is because this person or someone here really wasn't listening to their intuition. Maybe they were going against their intuition here, which was causing all sorts of um, delays. Look, we've even got the chariot here, which is major arcana for cancer. The chariot is in reverse. So there's definitely been a lack of movement forward. Someone definitely took a step back here. Um, maybe, maybe sometimes we have to take a step back to see what we really need to see you know sometimes when we're if we don't create that little bit of space or that time out or just step away from the situation we can't see things from a higher perspective and I feel with the hanging man your person or you Pisces is starting to see things a little differently Okay, so someone's needed to step back to see the situation differently from a different angle or from, from a higher perspective. That's what I'm getting. And as a result, someone here is working out why um, they weren't happy. Okay, the, this is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups in the upright speaks to emotional happiness. In the reverse, it speaks to uh, emotional dissatisfaction. But it's like, okay, someone wasn't happy here, but they've needed to step back to take a look at this. And now it's like, ah, now I can see. Now I can see why this relationship is not working out or why it hasn't been on, 
you know, happy terms for quite some time. Mm. Maybe you took a step back from this person, Pisces. Maybe, maybe it had to take for you to withdraw or retreat for this person to see how they have been showing up in this connection. Maybe you took a step back because you were not happy. You were feeling drained here emotionally or you were feeling unfulfilled. Okay, maybe you did this to, um, to see if this person would come forward and fight for you here or fight for the relationship. Yeah, because there's the Emperor in reverse. This is Major Arcana for Aries. It is in the reverse. So I feel like you've needed to take a step back. Maybe you were doing a lot for this relationship. The Emperor in reverse is saying, hey, I just need to take a step back. I feel like you did this to see if your person would lean forward or lean in towards you, okay? Or recognize, oh, Pisces isn't talking to me or Pisces has taken a step back. Or you did this to see if they would notice. But there's the moon card. Okay, I'm feeling like this, this emperor has noticed that you've gone silent or you've retreated or you've stopped doing all the things that you've been doing for the relationship. Yeah, there's the eight of pentacles. They've noticed that you've been pouring yourself into other activities. Mm. Okay, let's... I wasn't ready. Let's see what else Pisces needs to know here. Spirit, tell us more. Tell us more. Tell us more. What is it that Pisces needs to know? Okay. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Page of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. And we've got the King of Wands in reverse. You could be connecting to a fire sign, Pisces, but look. Bottom line is, is this person feels like with the King of Wands in reverse that they're losing control of the situation and they don't like that they're losing control. Because we can see here with the Four of Pentacles, this person doesn't want to lose you. Okay, they're still sort of fighting or holding on to the connection. I do get a sense here with the Page of Cups that they want to come in and say sorry. Okay, they're really working things out. See, this page of cups is sitting underneath the hangman. So they're starting to view it from maybe your perspective or your point of view. Okay. Um, yeah, they're starting to see it from your perspective. They're, they're putting themselves in your shoes and they're like, ah, now I get it. Now I get it. I've been selfish, I've been self-centered, I've been doing all the things that I've wanted to do, I've been prioritizing my activities and my passions, okay, because King of Wands in reverse can be a little bit like that, okay, he can be like that. Mm. And they're coming in and apologizing because they can see, they can see their downfall here i want to get some more clarity on the ace of swords I, i'm feeling inclined to say that maybe you've shut down communication here or you had to shut down communication or you stopped with the ace of swords in reverse you stopped initiating you stopped initiating action because the wands is action wands is fire energy it's it's fast moving energy but because they're in the reverse and the Ace of Swords is sitting underneath the Eight of Wands, I feel like you stop being the initiator in the relationship. And you had to, because how else was this person going to realize, grow up and see what it is that they needed to see? You know, the Hermit is an energy of someone who is wising up. And I feel like they've cottoned on or they've clued on and they've, they're starting to wise up here. Maybe to how, like to their own selfish ways. Mm. And they feel with you, with the strength card here, you could be connecting to a Leo, they feel that you've gotten stronger or you've gotten braver. Like, 
or more courageous to go, no, I'm going to stop initiating contact. I'm going to stop um, whatever, all the loving things that you did for this person. It's like, oh, they can see you're getting stronger because you're resisting being the first person to call or the first person to text or um, the first person to care, right? So let's get some clarifying cards, shall we? Let's clarify the Hermit in Reverse. Spirit, tell us more about the Hermit in Reverse. Yeah, look at that. Look at this. We've got the Six of Swords in Reverse and the Magician. So you took your power back with the Magician. You took your power back. This person could feel it. Um, and we can see with the Six of Swords in Reverse that this person is returning to you. Okay, there's an issue here. It's unresolved. They want to come back and resolve it. Okay, they want to come back and resolve it. With the Hermit card, it tells me here that maybe they just needed to go off and figure things out. And once they figured it out, they're returning to you or they're coming back around with a fresh new perspective. The Magician is saying here, okay, this person is coming back now with all the tools available to them. And I feel like that's nice. Let's take a look at this Eight of Wands in reverse. Tell us more about this Eight of Wands in reverse, Spirit. Tell us more about the Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you've put some kind of a wall up, Nine of Wands. You, you kind of like put an energetic wall up. Yeah, there you go. There's the Eight of Swords. You got so frustrated. Um, I feel like you got frustrated. You put some kind of energetic wall or boundary up here. And... This person is now wanting to come in and fight for the connection. Okay, nine of wands is I'm not giving up on us. I'm not giving up on the connection. But I feel like, like I said earlier, Pisces, I feel like you kind of took a step back to see if they would fight for the relationship. And you're definitely going to see it. Look at this beautiful page of cups. Let's, let's expand on the page of cups. You could be connecting to a water sign here. Yeah, look at this. There's the eight of cups in reverse and the queen of wands. Look, this person adores you, okay? They're still very much in this relationship on an emotional level. They're not walking away from you anytime soon, Pisces, is what I want to say here. They definitely want to come back and kiss and make up. The Queen of Wands is this person is feeling optimistic about making amends or kissing and making up here they're, they're positive you know queen of wands this is a positive optimistic energy um this is someone who is coming back and wooing you okay they they, they are going to woo you they're going to put you on some kind of a pedestal they're going to treat you right you know the queen of wands she's vip and that's how you're going to feel you're going to feel like you're a very important person to this person Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles. Spirit, tell us more about this Four of Pentacles. Yeah, look, they want to claim you. They want to possess you. There's a Hermit card. Could be a Virgo that is not wanting to let you go, Pisces. Um, but the Hermit card is telling me here that this person is being enlightened. Okay, they're being enlightened. They're being guided uh, to get the connection or get the relationship back on track, right? Let's clarify this Ace of Swords in reverse. We've got the King of Pentacles, which is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Look, I feel um, this person is going to come in showing you that they, that you can rely on them, that you can depend on them and that you can trust them. Maybe in the past you couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't trust them, you couldn't rely on them, but they're coming in to show you that you can this time, okay, that you can this time. That's what I'm getting there, Pisces. So let's grab some last parting messages or advice or whichever comes first. Don't forget to let me know which part of the reading best resonated with you, Pisces. Also, let me know if I mention the sign of your person here today as well, because it helps me to connect to your energy better for a more clearer and accurate read. Let's grab some last parting messages. We've got your hard work is paying off. Yes, I love that for you. So... You could be dealing with a Capricorn here. 
Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I want to say whatever you're doing, keep doing that because it's working. <laughs> so if you have stepped back, if you have stopped initiating or being the first person to reach out and show that you love them, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's working in your favor. Okay, that is definitely working in your favor. Look at this, expect powerful change. I turned the deck around and it said expect powerful change. So yeah, especially even with that magician card, I, I really do get that you can expect this situation to turn around um, for the better. Okay, it's going to make your relationship a lot stronger. As I saw earlier, the strength card, it's going to make it a lot stronger. Yeah, and this person, when they say you can trust me, you can rely on me, like you can expect that to be their truest and strongest intentions, right? When they mean that they're going to change, they are meaning it. We've got show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So you could be connecting to an Aquarius, but this person is, yeah, they're definitely putting it all out there for you, okay? They're they're exposing themselves. They're putting themselves in a vulnerable situation, but they want to. They want to because they don't want to let you go. They don't want to let this go. Um, they're bearing it all with you here because that's what the Page of Cups does. The Page of Cups show the world the real you. You know, this person's coming in. They're bearing their heart. They're bearing their soul please accept my apology Pisces I promise to make it up to you like they'll, they'll call their own bad behavior out that's what they're doing here they're putting themselves in a vulnerable situation because they really care for about you you know they want to restore the connection here with the kiss so that's where I'm going to leave it Pisces I do hope that resonated for you let me know in the comment section below if it did and until next time guys take care Bye for now.